Howdy everyone, your Pyrel here with some more of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Last episode, we started the Happy Mask side quest, and then we made it here to Goron City. What do you have to say, Navi? Imp said, yes, we're here on Death Mountain. We're in Goron City. Shut up, Navi. Anyways, you. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We're in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in the Dongo's Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Oh, I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from the Dongo's Cavern. You know, if your race is like on the verge of extinction, you should be able to, I guess, put up with the fact that you can't eat your gourmet rocks or whatever. But, eh, whatever. It's dangerous for a little- Yes, I know. Ask Big Brother about complicated things. If he's in a bad mood, he'll probably get mad at you. It can be pretty scary, but I know his secret. He may not look like the type, but Big Brother loves to dance. If he gets in a rhythm, he'll surely... Remember, Big Brother used to always listen to the music that comes from the forest. Ah, oh, yes, the good old days. That music makes me feel nostalgic, too. If all the torches around here were lit, Goron City would really liven up. That's actually a hint for something. Going to the forest? And learning a song there? Yep. Anyways, Goron City. The way it's layered is... It's... There's multiple levels to it. There's a total of the bottom layer, then the layer next to that, that one, and then the top layer. So there's four layers here, each with their own different things to explore. And, I mean, there are stairs connecting, like, each floor. Ooh, what, what was that over there? Yeah, there is... They just have a room filled with magma, lava. Are we underground? Because I'm pretty sure if it's underground, that counts as magma. Eh, whatever. But, uh, yeah. And there are rocks in the way that prevent us from navigating. Actually, no, because there's a tightrope over there. Eh, whatever. But these rocks do make it a bit more annoying to navigate. And there's money for me to grab. Okay, we're on this floor. Let's... Oh, I know where we are. There's this... This pretty big Goron. Uh, just rolling around. And I believe there's actually a sign around here. Where it's like, if you can stop me, then do it. Yeah. Uh, please don't run me over. Okay, this is where we were before, right? Yeah. I want to see what's on the top over there, even though I'm pretty sure it's something that we can't even do just yet. Right? Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something we can't even do just yet anyways. So let's just go down. There's a thing over there that we can't do anything with just yet. And there are bomb flowers littered around here, but like that one Goron saw uh, before in the last episode, we're not strong enough to lift them. And this, these stairs lead to the bottom floor. Now right over here, this is the other side of that entrance to the Lost Woods. A handy shortcut that we can actually open up right now. So, first off, what do you have to say? Oh, we don't get many visitors way up here. Where are you from? The forest? What's a forest? Eh? Is there a lot of trees and plants grow? Now I'm even more confused. Nothing grows around here besides the bomb flowers. We don't have seeds or nuts around here either. Even Deku sticks are very scarce around here. And, oh yeah, you're gonna tell us how to conserve sticks even though I already told you that. And just in case you need one, there's one in this uh, vase pot thing. And a lot of just empty, a lot of empty torches. Not, not empty, they're not lit. And this chamber here, if I'm not mistaken, came here to eat the redstone too? Well, not uh, too bad, it's not here. What, that's not why you're here? looking for a spiritual stone? You must mean that delicious looking red stone that was once displayed above the city. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay to just give it one tiny little lick. 
So I snuck up there, but it's already on. I think Big Brother took it away. No, it's just that everyone is after that red stone. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. And yeah, I guess we're the royal family's messenger. So, if we try to check here, you're standing on a soft carpet for guests. Feel so plush under your feet. Well, this is where we play proof that we have our connection to the royal family. And just play Zelda's Lullaby because, again, that's a song that means you have connections to the royal family. Cool. And this here is... What the heck? Who are you? When I heard this song in the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face! Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dongo's Cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Stubborn. But... We already found a way to make you... To lighten up your mood a little. Someone said that you really like the song of the forest? Well, let's play it. Just play Saria's song from the Lost Woods that we learned. Come on, come on, come on! Hot! What a hot beat! Whoa! Yeah! Yahoo! This hurts my throat. Ugh. Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. I saw something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the Spiritual Stone of Fire too? The Spiritual Stone of Fire, also known as the Goron's Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that bad, or that easily, if you want it so badly. Why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dongo's Cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the Spiritual Stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. Where this even a little fellow like you can pick a bomb flower using A. And we got the Goron's bracelet, so now we can pick up bomb flowers. Now, do you say anything else? Yeah, okay. But before we do anything, as you can see, torches in this room are lit. So let's use that opportunity to brighten up the rest of Goron City. Because there's some other torches here. There's these, and doing that will actually help us out. It'll make this thing spin. Also, if we have fire, we can light up bombs. Or these bomb flowers. Because we can't really pick them from the wall, because they're a little bit too high for us to lift up. Anyways, there's a shop here. We can buy bombs if we had a bomb bag, but we don't. Hearts, red potions, and a Goron tunic. For adults. We're a kid. I mean, we can afford it, though. Oh well. Anyways, let's do some more things here. Let's lift this up. Actually, not lift it up, light it up. I don't think we need to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can just, um, let's grab one of these bombs, drop it, and picking up a bomb flower will cause it to start lighting up and explode eventually. And this is now a shortcut, a shortcut 
for us to get into the Lost Woods. Very handy if you ever like turn off the game and um, restart because you always start off at Link's house in the Kokiri Forest. So it's just a nice little shortcut. Anyways, now that this thing is spinning, also the top of it is open. If you were paying attention before, it wasn't. This is a bit, I guess, cryptic, but if we throw this into the thing... Okay, let's try that again. If we throw this bomb... Bomb flower, technically. Oh! Okay, let's try that again. And bomb flowers, they will, um, they will grow back pretty fast after uprooting one. Throw this in. Did I miss? Let's try that again. Did I make it in? Yes, I did. If you get a bomb in and have it explode inside, this thing will start spinning pretty fast. And once it stops, it's basically a roulette. That's not what I wanted to stop on. It didn't even... Yeah, it didn't even give me anything. Rude. Okay, let's try that again. It'll start spinning again. There is a reward for doing this that I want. Okay, that's the other reward. It's a one in three chance of getting the good reward, but money. I'll, I'll take it, I guess. Also, this was something that you couldn't really see in the N64 version of this game, but Link... Let's see if I can get the camera to go closer. Link is actually wearing the Goron bracelet. Yeah, that wasn't shown in this model in the Nintendo 64 version, which is a pretty nice touch. Okay, I've been at this for a while. Come on, game. It's only a 1 in 3 chance. There you go! When it lands on the happy face, you get some money and another piece of heart. Which means, if you've been following along, we have another for another heart container. And that puts us at 6 units of health. Also, this is where the Goron's bracelet is. It's on the gear uh, part of the inventory. Anyways... There's still something to show off here in Goron City. Actually, I don't know if I can show it off right now. Probably not. I don't know, actually. Um, yeah, sec. Okay, let's just do this. We don't need to worry about stopping this Goron right now. Rude. Trying to blow me up like that. Let's just drop some bombs here. You can uh, instantly drop them by crouching down. What do you have to say, Navi? Let's go inside the Dongo's Cavern using a bomb flower. Will do. But I want to show off what lies behind here. Oh, there's more rocks. Let's try that again. And... This should be enough. Right? Yes. There's a really big Goron here, who's working on something really cool right now, but I think it's going to take a while. If you can wait five or six years, it should be ready, okay? I believe this Goron goes by the name of Medigoron? I believe so, at least. And that's pretty much it for all the stuff I want to show off. You know what, let's, um, let's try to go into that one... A uh, blocked off area that I couldn't do anything at before. So, let's see right over here. And let's be careful. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. Eh, I can go a little bit faster. There. I'm pretty sure we can't do anything here just yet. Yeah, I was right. Kind of a waste, but you know what? I still showed it off. Let's see. Let's be careful. 
I want to get back up top here. And we're going to open up the way to Dodongo's Cavern now. Because that's really all that's left for us to do. So, to do that, just head on over here. And... There were rocks down there blocking the way to Do uh, Dodongo's Cavern. Just pick up this bomb flower. And throw it. You need to be moving to throw things, by the way. There we go. But there's one thing I quickly want to do. Let's just, uh, let's throw this because it's in my way. You need to angle it right and do a backflip from here. And you land on top of the cavern that leads to Dongo's cavern, redundancy, and you can get a piece of heart here. I'm pretty sure this isn't the intended way to get this piece of heart. Because there's another way to do it, but whatever. Whatever. And what do you have to say? I almost blew you up. Oh, now we can enter the cavern. You're so smart. Eh, whatever. Well, let's just go on in. And this is Dodongo's Cavern. The next dungeon in the game. But... We're going to get to exploring it in the next episode. Because we explored Goron City, got a couple pieces of hearts, and we made Darunia dance. That's... I think that's good enough for this episode. So, yeah, next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, we're going to explore Dodongo's Cavern. Thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time. Later!